Organized in October of 1921, the Rotary Club of Homer was chartered later that same year on November 1st, 1921. Sponsored by the Rotary Club of New Orleans, the original 17 charter members included many notable leaders whose names you might recognize. H.L. Bourgeois, superintendent of schools and namesake of the high school in Gray. T. Baker Smith, local civil engineer and surveyor who started the company now known as T. Baker Smith and Sons. Dr. H. St. Martin, a well-known medical doctor and president of the Terrebonne Parish School Board. And Calvin Worslow, a local attorney and the mayor of the city of Homa. We are honored to be part of a Rotary Club that has done so much good in Terrebonne Parish and has included such notable members as Louisiana Senator Alan Ellender, Rotary International Vice President George Arsenault, past District 6200 Governor William R. Billy Foster, who is with us today, past Terrebonne Parish President Michelle Claude, and many, many members that have been honored as the most useful citizen in Terrebonne Parish. Rotary continues to have a strong presence in Homer where there are now three other area clubs. The Rotary Club of Homer Terrebonne started in 1979, the Homer Sunrise Rotary Club, which started in 2009, and the Downtown Rotary Club of Homer, which started in 2016. The next 100 years will offer a bright future for the Rotary Clubs of Homer to continue their mission of service above self. Now at this time, I'd like to go ahead and point out that we have some dignitaries here with us today, and I'd like to start by introducing Gordon Dove, our parish president, our department heads, Mark Black, also a Rotary member, I might add, Cohen Guidry, Steve Ponville, Mark Stevenson with the Home of Fire, Lonnie Lusco, Debbie Artigo, and Dana Artigo. Also council members Jessica Domang, Darren Guidry, and we also have Tommy Boudreau with Norris Boudreau Construction, and Mike DeLon with Mike Fazy's office. In addition, we have Chris Pulaski as our director of planning, who had a lot to do with this project getting off the ground. Thank you, Chris. Ann Pico uh, with the uh, Downtown Development Group, Leo Lede with the same group, and James LeCompte. And then with Rotary, we have Jerry Lede, Yolanda Trahan, and Brenda Fauché, who were on the committee. And I would not, I'd be amiss if I didn't uh, also recognize one of my heroes here today, Spud McConnell, is in the audience. So with that being said, I'd like to introduce our parish president, Sir Gordon Duff. Wow, what a, what a long time coming between COVID, Hurricane Ida, and, and you know, I want to really, really shout out to the Rotary Club that never gave up on this project, pushed, especially Jerry Lede, who called me every time I turned around to make sure this thing happened. Round of applause for the Rotarians that really, really made this thing happen. They, they put skin in the game, I think around $300,000 of their own monies they collected, along with Capital Outlay, Jerome Zerang, Tana McGee, Brett Elaine was instrumental in getting us, getting us funding on this. And of course, my council, <clears throat> my council members who supported it along the way, Darren Guidry, Jessica Domang, and the other council members. And, and my department heads, especially headed by Chris Pulaski, Candace Malden on the finance end and all my department heads who really kept this going. We had problems with these arches. I want to thank the Home of Fire Department. Uh, Corey Henry, the new chief, worked with the contractor, worked with the engineers and got those, those uh, arches solved and we're going to move forward. I only apologize. At, at, we were trying to get it done before the end of the year, but at least it started and we're moving forward. Thank you all very much. God bless you all. This is really a, a, a facelift that Terrebonne Parish needs. Besides that great job over here on the bandstand that was done by a, 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 lot, a, a, a group of uh, guys in here headed by Noah Lee Red and Merlin Lee Red and them did this beautiful and this is just an accent to Terrebonne Parish downtown and 
Thank you all very much. God bless each and every one of you. Back in 2017, a, a committee of Rotary was formed to, to come up with an idea of what we were going to do to celebrate a centennial, which at that time was four years down the line. I would like to acknowledge the people who served on this committee with us who were, res who were greatly responsible. Uh, Yolanda Trahan, Derek Chasson, Stephanie Corzo, Joe Paul Maye, Dale Norred, and Mike D'Angelo. Most of them here today, so thank you guys for serving with us. When, when we started, we all had the same idea in that we, while we didn't know what we wanted to do, we did know that we wanted to try and create something that would be a lasting impact, something that we can give as a permanent gift to the citizens of this community. And, and we felt one of the ways to begin that process was to seek information from others. So we reached out to 45 nonprofit and organizations in the community and said, give us some ideas of what you think needs are. And while those responses varied, the underlying message was that we needed some type of a gathering place, some place where the citizens of this community can come together. And with that information, we started the process, okay, what do we do now? And, 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 and through a series of events, we ended up partnering with the downtown development uh, with Ann Pico as well as Chris Pulaski and taking this what was a concept and making it a reality and so we're grateful for, for their participation in it and I got to tell you Gordy Dove already spoke but uh, when, when we had agreed uh, Ann as well as Chris that we were going to do this we set up a meeting to go speak with Parish Dove and, and present this concept to him and before we left that meeting he instantly said I'm in full support we want to do this so thank you Parish President for, for doing that. Guys, we needed to process it, then we had to raise money, and, and we never thought it would cost what it did, but we began the process of raising money. And I'd like to acknowledge the donors that gave at the larger levels. We have over 50 individuals and businesses that gave any amount, but I'd like to donate, acknowledge the, the largest ones, uh, beginning with a parish who could not, we could not have done this without them bridging that gap. But our largest level sponsors are our platinum level, and we have three of them. Terrible and General Health System, who was our single largest donor. So thank you. Phyllis is, is here today. Thank you. The Home Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, Sandra is here, as well as Synergy Bank. All right. Thank you. Our goal level sponsors were Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, South Louisiana Bank, and the Cody Sengisetti family. And then we had 18 silver level sponsors, and many of them are here today as well. Pete and Denise Benoit, Ron and Sandy Brooks. B1 Bank, the James J. Buquet Foundation, the Bugaris Family, Magnum Mud, Christian and Rhymes, Daryl Christian, Coburn Supply of Homa, Big Mike and Carla Fessy, Morris P. Abair Incorporated, Dalton and Marie LeBlanc, Jerry, Susan and Emily Lede, 7887 Maine, South Asian and Medical Associates, Terminex Pest Control, Trap Chevrolet Cadillac, United Community Bank, Reuben and Diane Williams, and the Rotary Club of Downtown Homa. So thank you guys, not only for these higher level sponsors, but all of them. I'm from the government and I'm here to help. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, in 2013, um, we, uh, the parish uh, published the uh, uh, Vision 2030 Comprehensive Master Plan. Mark Black uh, worked on that with the parish and the planning commission at the time and, and the administration at that time. And one of the of course, one of the goals was the revitalization of downtown Homa. One of the strategies and objectives to get to that goal, uh, it was recommended that we close down this block of Boulanger Street. And I, like many of you, probably experienced um, events going on. I, I know I've been to at least one wedding reception at Milano where Sammy had, had blocked off a portion of the street, and it was beautiful, especially on a beautiful day. Um, so when Jerry contacted us, it was, oh, well, this is perfect. We've already got a wonderful location, and we have the, the backup of our comp plan to sort of justify that. Um, so in that respect, it enabled us to check off a lot of boxes because it met goals and objectives of that comp plan, which helped for funding, of course. Um, but the other thing I wanted to touch on, too, is... Um, my fellow landscape architects at Duplantis Design Group um, who've done a wonderful job in the design and I can't wait for you all to see that for those of you who haven't seen the renderings and we will be putting up signs along the perimeter of the fencing to announce what's coming and show what's coming um, but they've done a, a fabulous job and I also want to thank our uh, downtown business owners um, especially you know Tommy, Sammy, Melissa, Lindsay and Lauren, um, 
because they're, they're the ones, you know, yeah, they'll get some benefit from this, absolutely, but, you know, in the time being, they, they, they've got a little inconvenience. I guess we got to break a few eggs to make this cake, but uh, we certainly want to encourage um, everyone in the parish to um, continue to patron these businesses. They are open, and we want to encourage people to come down and visit them, see what's happening down here, especially during the holiday season. Um, so I thank you all for coming today. I can't wait to make more of a mess out here. Um, and Norris and Boudreaux, Tommy, you guys are doing a, a great job, so keep it up, please. Thank you. First of all, thank you all so much for coming out. I did not know that I had to speak in front of all of y'all today, so I don't really have anything but what's going to come from my heart. So first of all, it's 21 years that I've been doing this now, and I've seen a lot of ups and downs. But I have to say, when this project came forward, it was that glimmer of hope that we could do something. And we get a lot of flack from people because they say we don't make progress downtown. We do, it just takes a while. And I have to say, we, at least we move forward. We've had some stumps in the road, but we never give up. First of all, I have to thank my, my boss because he's got a lot on his plate and every day he pushes us for it. So Chris, I couldn't do what I do without you. And this administration has given us so much opportunities. We've been doing so much this year. But what I'd like to end in just saying is, there is no way to get progress and quality of place, well, quality of life without quality of place. So with the Rotary Club and all the individuals today that y'all uh, spoke about that, picked up their pockets and donated. I thank you from the bottom of my heart first as the Main Street Manager. Second of all, as a citizen of this community, it takes a village to move forward. And if, if y'all have not seen this since Ida, I think we have proved in this community that we all work together as a team. So all of y'all for being out here today, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing this project and I do believe this will be a turning port for Terrebonne Parish. Thank you all so much for surrendering your time to come today. Thank you. Thank you.